I'm going to show you a little trick now that will make the development a little bit easier when creating components and importing them with React. If we look inside of the index.js file, you can see here where they import the components. They're using it with a relative path. So you always have to type dot dot forward slash, or if you're in a deeper subdirectory, you have to type dot dot forward slash dot dot forward slash. And as you can figure, it can get a little bit annoying, to be honest. So we're going to config Gatsby to use absolute imports instead. And that means that we can type it out something like this instead. So we can remove all of these here. And this will be an absolute import instead because we'll configure Gatsby with Webpack. So it will always look in the SRC folder. And that's why we can just type out components and forward slash layout if we want that component or image or the SEO in this case. This is just to show you now in this video. We are going to refactor this file later, so you don't have to do it now if you don't want to. But if you want to follow along, just remove these and save the file for now. And then we're going to be inside of the Gatsby-Node file. And Gatsby-Node is a file that is run when Gatsby builds your site. And you can read more about it here on that URL here. And if we look at the docs on the site, and as I mentioned before, you use this file if you want to create pages dynamically, as they tell you here in the text. So this is a great place to start to read more if you want to dig deep into what this file is. We're also going to use it to add nodes with GraphQL as they describe here. So I'm going to show you that in a future video. But we're going to use this file now to set up Webpack when Gatsby creates its uh, Webpack config. They have another page here where, the, where they describe how to add a custom Webpack config. As you see here, they have something for everybody in the documentation. You want to do something, and they probably already covered it in the documentation. So it's great. Okay, so we have these uh, instructions here, and what we want to do is to create absolute imports. So they have a section for that down below here, and they tell you all about it, um, how you should do it here. And when Gatsby is uh, creating your site and building a site, you can export the function that's called onCreateWebpackConfig. And you call this function with some different arguments. We are going to use the actions arguments. So they just structure it out here. And then from the actions, you can call the set webpack config. And this is webpack stuff when we set this up. So if you want to know more about how webpack works, I just as Gatsby will recommend you to read more on the Webpack's official docs. I'm not going to go through Webpack here but because that can be a very advanced topic, to be honest. This little function here will take the path, source the SRC folder, and set that as the default for us. So we can do absolute imports with the SRC folder as a base. So that is what this will do. So let's go back inside our code editor. So you can remove this if you don't want to have that comment on top of your file. So I'll remove it. And then you can make a new comment for absolute imports like that. Then we exports. This is, as I said, ES5 syntax because this is Node. ES6 syntax isn't default in the Node. So we use ES5 syntax here. And we have the function that's called onCreate webpack config equals, then we have a parenthesis and curly braces, of course we can destructure out the actions that we need. And um, the structuring is something that's also in the ES6 syntax in JavaScript. So it's really handy to destructure out things and you do it a lot with React. You probably already know this as you should know a fair amount of React before starting to use Gatsby, I think. So we have the actions here. That's a property in the object that we destructure out. We create an arrow function. And then from our actions, we have something that's called set webpack config. We have a parenthesis and a new object. We're going to give this an object with a property that's called resolve. And that one has an object too. And then we have the modules. And as I said, this is Webpack stuff. I won't go into detail on Webpack stuff here. That will take too long to explain. 
Then we have an array. And first we have the path dot resolve double underscore and the dear name. And as I told you before, this is the directory that we're working in. It's node stuff. And then we set it to SRC. And as the second element in our array, we set it to node modules like that. And we can have an ending comma also. Do some auto formatting. And as you can see in the default setup with Gatsby, they don't use uh, trailing semicolons. So we're going to go without trailing semicolons. There's one more thing we have to do because we're using path up here. So at the top of this file, we create the const and name it path and require path. And this path is something that's built in with node. So we can require that one. Do some order formatting. And as you can see here, Gatsby also wants double quotes. I always use uh, single quotes, but okay. We'll go with the default setup for this one. So that's everything we have to do to set up absolute imports. And as we already removed the relative imports here in the index.js file, we can just make sure that we've saved it and removed all of them here. And then we can go to our terminal and run npm start. And we check out the site and it seems to be working. So that's great. So that will make our development a lot more easier. We don't have to type dot dot forward slash all the time when we import something.